morning, Maine ACLU filed a first of its kind lawsuit in the state against Maine Care, calling the denial of abortion under the state plan unfair and unconstitutional. Abortion is legal, but many women, especially women with low incomes, don't have access to it. Federal law prohibits using federal funds for abortions, but states can use state money for the procedures. Massachusetts, Connecticut, Vermont fixed this problem decades ago. Maine should bring our policies in line with the Constitution as well. Zachary Hyden of the ACLU says the Constitution protects all women, regardless of the choices they make. But the LePage administration spoke out against the suit, saying the federal government prohibits the use of federal funding for abortions except in the case of rape, incest, or when the mother's life is in danger. This is a well established law, and the ACLU suit is nothing but a frivolous public relations stunt. Stunt or not, the Maine family planning is part of the suit, and Kate Brogan says there should be a policy change for Maine. The policy of Maine Care will cover their health care if they decide to continue their pregnancies, but not if they decide to end their pregnancies. And at about $500, Brogan says it makes financial sense for the state. It's a fraction of the cost of paying for uh, pregnancy related services. Uh, and so, you know, it, it really effectively would save Maine Care money. But she says saving money is not their goal. No woman should have to um, make choices that she doesn't want to make about a pregnancy just because her Maine Care doesn't cover it. Um, finances shouldn't be the decision maker for these women. In Augusta, Kyle Jones, WMTW News 8.